assalamu alaikum friends in this video we are going to discuss about lip glue future first we have to open a new file part then you have to select a plane which you want to sketch and make it to the normal view first we have to create a base part for applying the lip glue future first i draw the center line for references which is most necessary for your revolve feature and draw the symmetric profile for your revolve feature by using a straight slot After that you have to make a tangent relationship between the circle and a slot. So select a corresponding line in a slot and a circle and apply the tangent relations and click OK. Then by using a dream entities we have to delete the unwanted line segments because uh, only there is a need of symmetric profiles for making a reward feature after deleting the old unwanted segments we have to close the sketch by using a line in corresponding center axis then click ok exit the sketch go to the futures select a revolve boss or base with corresponding to the center line now our base spot is created for applying the lip and groove future before applying the lip and groove future we have to split the part into the two bodies so select a plane for references for splitting the bodies I am just create a new plane in between the future space for the amount of distance of setting the plane and click OK after creating a correct plane then we are going to apply the split option so go to the insert and go to the features inside the features we have to select a split option after selecting a split option we need to specify the dream tool the dream tool is a plane so select a corresponding plane then we have to select a body for splitting into two parts and then you have to unclick the consume cut bodies and click ok now our bodies is convert into two split bodies we can check in a design tree we have a two solid bodies split one and split two after that you have to make a different color for a two split bodies for good understanding of lip and groove future after applying a correct color you have to just click ok Then you have to hide the unwanted planes for a better visualization. First I hide the one part of the split and make a shell on another part. Give the amount of thickness for shell. Then click OK. Likewise I am going to create a shell in here, another split part by hiding this split part. I am just hide the corresponding split part by specifying the required amount of thickness then I am going to create a shell on another body so just you have to hide the body where we create a shell first then we have to apply the shell in another of select a corresponding face to applying the shell and click ok give the amount of thickness 
Now the shell is created in a both half of the parts. Now I am going to apply the lip feature. So go to the inset, select a fastening features. Inside a fastening feature, we have a option such as a lip and groove. So select a corresponding option lip and groove. Then we have to select a body part selection. In a first tab, we have to select our first part. In a second tab, we have to select a second split body. After that, in a groove selection, we have a option. In a third tab, we need to select a reference plane, which they split the two parts. In a groove selection, the automatically you select a edges where we want to create a groove. So select a corresponding inner edges of the shell to create a groove. Likewise, in a lip selection, you have to select a corresponding edges. The face is automatically selected while we enter in a lip selection. So you have to select only the inner edges where we want to create a lip. Lip is nothing but it is add the material instead of creating a groove. In a groove selection, the material is removed. In a lip selection, the material is added in a corresponding edges. The main application of a lip and groove feature is for a assembly based components. For example, while we making the two parts, there is need for creating a groove and lip. We can also change the value of groove and lip here as per your requirement and then click OK. It will take a few seconds for creating a lip and groove feature. Now you can cross check by using a hiding the options, hiding the one part of the component and you can zoom the another part. You can check whether the lip is created. Now here the lip is created. You can also apply the different color for better visualization. Likewise, you can hide the another part and check the another part of the split body for a groove selection. In this part, the groove is created. It means the material is removed here. You can cross check by applying the display style. You can also cross check the lip and groove by using the mid plane. The center of the axis that shows there is a mating of two elements such as a lip and groove. Likewise you can also cross check by give the different color for a lip and groove by using the different display styles. To get the regular updates of my video, please subscribe in my channel. Don't forget to like and share.